Welcome to Electronline. Now let's see an example of how to find the Laplace transform of a first derivative of a function. So let's say we have a function f of t equals to 3t squared and therefore the first derivative of that function is 6t. In the corner there we have the equation that tells us how to find the Laplace transform of the first derivative which we copied over here. Now let's plug in what we know. So this is equal to s times the Laplace transform of the function which is right here so the Laplace transform of 3t squared minus f of 0 the function evaluated 0 so it would be 3 times 0 squared now simplifying that we get the following this is equal to s times now the Laplace transform let me first factor out a 3 so this becomes 3 times s times the Laplace transform of t squared minus 0. What is the Laplace transform of t squared? Well, that would be 2 over s to the third power. So this becomes 3 times s times 2 over s to the third power because it's 2 factorial divided by s to the 2 plus 1. Minus 0 is 0. And simplifying this, this gives us 6 over s squared. So this here is the Laplace transform of the first derivative of the function which is the Laplace transform of 6t using the equation. Now let's check the answer by simply taking the Laplace transform of 6t. So if we take the Laplace transform of 6t, well this can be written as 6 times the Laplace transform of t and of course the Laplace transform of t is simply 1 over s squared. So this becomes equal to 6 times 1 over s squared or 6 divided by s squared. Notice that I get the exact same answer as I did before. You may want to ask the question, well why did I go through all that trouble when I could have simply taken the Laplace transform of 6t and gotten the answer very quickly? Well that's not really the point. The point is to show that the original equation of how to take the Laplace transform of a first derivative actually does give you the right answer. Because later on we're going to solve some differential equations where each term may be a first or second derivative of a function and we need to be able to replace that term that is a first or second or even third derivative of a function by the Laplace transform of that function and therefore we need to know how to do that. This simply shows you through an example that it will indeed give you the correct answer and that the equation is correct. So later on when we show you how to solve differential equations, it will all make a lot more sense as to why we're doing this. That's why we do it.